Hello, good afternoon. This is Michael Kinnett from My Eternal Networks for our weekly ITNet Tech Update. So we do this live stream every Friday around one o'clock on our social media, primarily on our Facebook page. We also go live on Twitter and on our, our uh, LinkedIn page. So those of you that have, have watched the live stream in the past, thanks for joining again. Those that are maybe watching for the first time, welcome. And anybody that's uh, watching this recording after the fact, uh, thanks for taking the time to to watch the recording as well. So today we're going to talk. I'm going to talk a little bit about Microsoft 365. So uh, many of you that are in business know what it is. Many of you are probably using it. And those of you that aren't, you know, this will probably be a little helpful information on maybe some of what you're missing out on. So yesterday we did a live webinar on scalability. Uh, talked about uh, steps that you can take to help your business prepare to scale and be in a, a good position for, for growth. Um, that will improve efficiencies and you know there's lots of benefits for what we talked about yesterday. If you're interested in watching that, you can you can uh, post in the comments below. I'll send you a link where you can, can access that recording. Um, or you can go to our, our website. There's a webinars section of our website where you can access past webinar content and also register for future upcoming webinars. So in, in yesterday in talking about scalability, we talked a, a little bit about picking a platform to standardize your business on. And Microsoft 365's productivity suite is one of those that you can do that with. So uh, there was some questions in the, the webinar yesterday uh, that led to us saying, hey, why don't, we, why don't we talk about it a little bit on our live stream? So Microsoft 365 is a business productivity suite. And Many of you may be familiar with what it includes, but you're probably only familiar with a small portion of what it includes. Uh, you may be surprised to find out that there are 32 apps available from Microsoft as part of the Microsoft 365 subscription for business. Now, those 32 apps are not included in every subscription. So if you're on the business basic plan, you don't have as many as if you're on the enterprise plan. But most of the plans contain most of the apps that are available with varying features enabled. Uh, most of you, if not all of you, are, are familiar with, you know, that includes email, right? That's the obvious one for communication. And your desktop and web apps, Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, Microsoft Access, Publisher, you know, the common apps that everybody knows about are included. But there's also lots of other features in, in available in Microsoft 365. And one of, the, one of the best things about it is the flexibility, right? So you've got you can be on an iPhone, an Android, a Mac, Linux, Windows. It doesn't matter which device you're using. Those apps work seamlessly across the device, those different devices, different um, operating systems. Microsoft has done a phenomenal job of standardizing the overall look and feel and function of those programs so that your users really can use whatever platform they want and still get the same wonderful experience with their software. Um, one of the other benefits is shared access. So one of one of the apps that's included is is OneDrive, which is their document file and folder sharing and cloud cloud management of that, um, as well as SharePoint. And so you can set it up to where at any point in time, multiple people can be accessing the same document, collaborating with each other, updating, creating content for your business or for your clients. Uh, in fact, uh, just uh, just this morning we were. Uh, in, a, in a team meeting with my operations team. And one of the techs uh, noticed, right, that multiple people were in the, in the document. We were sharing the screen and presenting it, but it popped up with a little icon with our, with our avatar at the top right showing multiple people were connected and, and editing it. And you can see which Excel um, fields were being selected by which users and being updated. So real-time collaboration is available with Microsoft 365. Um, another big part of it is, is collaboration and communication. So you've got Outlook for email, but you also have Microsoft Teams. Um, there's also some other social media-like apps that are available within it uh, that are more for enterprise than small business. But there's multiple ways of communicating within the Microsoft 365 platform. Microsoft Teams is the biggest one. And Microsoft Teams uh, kind of leads into one of the other things is, is the integration. So Microsoft Teams is a, is a communication platform for chatting with individuals, with groups, with doing online meetings. You can do webinars with it. You can share content. You can 
collaborating documentation, and you can integrate with other tools. So we, in our Microsoft team, we use it for tracking our to-dos and our tasks through Microsoft Project, um, Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Tasks, they're all, they all integrate together um, and can be viewed and edited and manipulated and tracked inside of Microsoft Teams. Um, you can also integrate with third-party apps, Trello, um, Google Analytics, GitHub, um, Asana. I mean, the list is probably endless, right? I mean, there's probably thousands of different apps that can integrate and, and be worked on and, and tied together, not only with Teams, but with other apps in Microsoft 365. And it's very easy to do that, um, to add those additional functions. Um, OneNote is another great, great app. Those of you that haven't used it, um, OneNote integrates with Teams, it integrates with Outlook, it integrates with uh, with Word and with other documents, uh, other other apps in the Microsoft Office uh, suite. And it's a really good way. I started using it back in college, back in the day, one of its early iterations. Um, they've only added more features to it, more integrations. It's great for collaborating and keeping track of notes and notebooks and documents. Um, and then finally, SharePoint. Um, SharePoint is a great way for organizing documents, training, and different platform, uh, different different tools that you can use on the Microsoft 365 platform. So they're really, if, if you're only using Microsoft 365 for email and for the applications, you're really missing out because there's a lot more out there that you can use, including some automation tools for automating workflows, um, forms, and, and other, other things for moving things through your internal business processes. So highly recommend it. If you have any other questions about Microsoft 365, I would love to answer them. Um, it's something that we use internally. Most of our clients use Office 365 in one level or another. It's a, it's a phenomenal platform that I highly recommend. Uh, let's see here, let me post it over here to the comments. Let's see if I got any, I don't see any questions coming up so far. Um, we do have an upcoming webinar. Maybe some questions will come in here. Um, we do have an upcoming webinar next month. We're still working on the date. I'm gonna be traveling um, for part of July. And so we're trying to figure out when we can when we can fit that in and make it work out um, for me to be there as well. We will have a special guest uh, from Sophos. We're gonna be talking about SD-WAN. Uh, so many of you may or may not have heard of SD-WAN. It's a big hot topic in there. And it's it's basically, give you a high level here. It's, it's basically a, a networking service that allows you to share multiple internet connections seamlessly with your site. Uh, so no more concerns about network outages or uh, internet problems or things of that nature because SD-WAN enables you to seamlessly uh, utilize multiple connections uh, across your organization, it ties in with VPN encryption and lots of other things as well. And we'll be doing a deep dive of that next month on our webinar. It, it's, like I said, we're still working on the dates. Um, we'll have that posted up here probably within the next week. Uh, so you guys are aware of it. Once we have that, then we'll post registration and all that other information like we typically do on our social media pages and, and through email if you've, if you've attended in the past. So if you have, uh, let's see here, no, no other questions have come in. So I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap up. Um, we, we do have, um, I just went blank. Where's my notes here? It's a Friday and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm, uh, I'm ready to, to, to move on here. If you have any questions, please, you know, direct message me, post them in the comments below, post them on our social media, send us email. There's, there's various ways of communicating with, with us. Uh, love talking tech, love talking cybersecurity and uh, ways that we can help your business improve uh, your overall efficiency. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Oh, 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 oh,